First of all, I'm just going to install it real quick. Here's uh, here's one of my, this is just a demo blog I use for testing all sorts of things. Uh, so we're going to install this plugin. And it's very easy to install. You click on upload. And we choose the file, which is that one. The zip file you actually download, uh, you have to unzip first and it contains the plugin zip file. So make sure you do that. Uh, click the button and activate. Okay, that's, that's the work done. Now, from here on in, it's pretty simple as to how this works. So let's explain something. Let's imagine that we have got a blog post. So we'll create a new one. Uh, and this is about... Uh, a product which we earn a commission on. Uh, obviously, that wouldn't be your subject line. It would be something, you know, you'd be reviewing the product, talking about the product. It could just be a post where you mention the product. Uh, so here's where the post is going to be. I'm just going to grab some text from somewhere. One second. Okay, what I'm actually going to do is grab a real example. I've come to ClickBank. Uh, I'll use ClickBank for this demo. This works with other networks. Yeah, it's not limited to ClickBank like some plugins are, because there are other plugins mostly pushed through Black Hat forums for hundreds of dollars. Uh, we're not interested in using this Black Hat. I've got to warn you, it could be. There's nothing to stop you, but I'm telling you, you shouldn't. Okay. I've come to ClickBank. Here's a product. I haven't really looked too much at it other than loading up the page and making sure that there's a product there and this looks like a good deal. I haven't researched this. I don't know if it's any good. But here's the thing. We can, we're going to use ClickBank to demonstrate this because ClickBank puts down here what the affiliate is. And so we can use that to make sure that this is actually working and doing what it should be doing. So uh, promote... Let's uh, grab here. And I'm going to put a tracking ID in as well. Um, you don't have to, but this is just going to further demonstrate. I'm going to grab that link and close that. And now let's go back to my test blog. Um, and this is called, cool. what's this thing called? Uh, blogging Underground. Okay, so let's do... Uh, blogging underground and uh, we would normally we would write something about us I'm just gonna see if I can grab a little bit of copy from here maybe um, I right, I'm for now I'm just gonna copy any text from here this isn't a real post obviously you normally would write your own content but let's say I've written this article and also I'm gonna put a link in here uh, click here to read about it. So there's there's my link and there's a post. Publish. Okay. Here's the situation at the moment. If someone was to come to this page and read whatever I've written, if they click on that link... Obviously, I'm getting cookied. I'm going to get the commission and the thing's going to be set. Brilliant. But if they don't actually click on it, if they read all about blogging underground, they go, well, that sounds interesting. And then they go off to Google to do some more research about blogging underground. And then they end up on a direct link and they buy it. I've dipped out on commission because they didn't click this link. And that's what this plugin puts right. Let's go to our dashboard and I'll show you exactly how it does that. So we've installed it, we go to settings, and in the settings menu, you will see there is a tab for affiliate advantage. Okay, I've just installed it, so we haven't got any in here at the moment, so we're gonna do, that's my, my affiliate link, and then we need to find the uh, post that we've just made was called blogging underground this works with pages and posts so it will all be listed there click the add button and there it is that's now gone in now here's what happens let's first of all show you and we'll do this in we'll come over here let's close that so 
Now, let me show you in a new browser. Uh, let's go blogging underground. So here we are in Internet Explorer. I'm going to go to the site again. Internet Explorer will not have the cookie set. Scroll down, hit the buy button. And zip to the bottom of there. Affiliate none. Okay. Now we go visit my blog post. In the Internet Explorer. Here it is. I'm not clicking on the link. Come back here. Buy button now. And you see that my affiliate link is set. So that's what the plugin is doing. It's setting those links so I definitely get paid. This has a load of applications. Let's say you write a blog post that compares three different products. You can secretly create those links for all three in the one post so that if they click on one of your affiliate links they look at the thing and they go oh it's too expensive or what was the other product he recommended and then they go and google it so not doing it for your site they or they just go direct to it because uh, the product has an easy remember domain name or whatever and they land on it you will have been cookied for that too you can make it cook mo uh, cookie multiple things if you're writing comparison reviews it's ideal for that this really plugs a gap. Now, I tell you in the post, I tell you I've, I've been super clear about it. I couldn't have been clearer. Yes, potentially, this could be used for Black Hat. Don't, okay? Yes, you could go and drop cookies for everything on totally irrelevant posts. But don't do it because, you know, it's just not right and it's against terms and conditions and whatever. If you go through uh, ClickBank's terms and conditions, well, they kind of frown upon it, but they don't say you can't do it. If you go to someone like Warrior Plusso and read their terms and conditions, they expressly say you cannot do this kind of thing. Because what this is doing is secretly visiting the page in the background. So you need to make absolutely sure that you know what the terms and conditions are. And I wouldn't use this for things like... Um, uh, for dropping eBay cookies and stuff like that because uh, they have policies and they've actually prosecuted people for it. So, you know, just be sensible. Check the terms and conditions. But there are a lot of affiliate networks you can safely use this for. But it's up to you to do your own checking and your own due diligence. I'm not interested in debating what black hat, white hat, grey hat, whatever. It isn't black hat the way I use it. Okay, it isn't purely white hat, but I have no issue with using this the way I use it. So, there you go. There you have it. That is what it does. That is what it is. Uh, and if you think you can use it uh, to save yourself losing some commissions, then you should pick it up.